see if we can make it work. Is it working now? I think it's working now. Yay, we have audio. I wonder if the game audio is working. Let's see. How's it going, White Fox? Hopefully you can hear me now. I got the audio working. Sneaky. Sneaky. Mac frog. I care about the rest. The rest doesn't matter. Yes, sir. Going well. Good to hear. We're going to start with the magistracy. We were betrayed. I don't know this matters, but we'll be a soldier. All right, that, that sounds good. Just working. That's good. I was working on the next video, but then I got the the eyes start to go wonky because you're reading too much. Too much Battletech lore it starts to wear on you a bit. All right, we will get started here. Let's see where we are. Could be a mystery wrapped in an enigma. Drizzled with questions. All right, yeah. We are off in Magistracy land. Probably going to have to go to war against Lowe and Free Worlds League. Let's see how it goes. How's it going, SRT? Certifiable. I get it. Ha, nice. Powered through the Warrior Trilogy in the last two weeks. And how did that, how did that feel? Let's see what do we have for Max. We have a Falcon... Firestarter, which we can work with. Mongoose is our garbage. Stinger, oh, we are. Oh, early game battle tech. Oh, early game battle tech. What are we going to do? It's just the least fun possible. I'm not going to fight the magistracy. We're going to fight for the magistracy. Oh, we'll do an escort mission. This will be horrifying. Goldhorn, Hotspur, Firebrand, Radar, you can just stay over there. Like we need speed. Falcon, I guess you can. Goldhorn, you take the Falcon. We'll see what happens here. This could be horrible. I think we are a 30-39. I think that's what we picked. Glorious and adventuring, yes. I am slowly starting Hour of the Wolf. But it's... I am just so annoyed by everything that is Clan Wolf that it's... I'm finding, finding issues with the motivation to, to make a dent in it. Sorry, not sorry. What am I playing this on? Uh, my, P my PC? Uh, it's the extended mod. Uh, if you're looking for the link for it, it's in the video description. But so HBS BattleTech, and then it's modded for uh, modded for your pleasure. All right. So secure the convoy rally point. We all love escort missions. Else with glee. Non stop fun. AI vehicles are always a pleasure. Can never get stuck and never go too slow. Perfect. No complaints. Oh, that is what the watch tabletop game three off. What's going on? Sorry. I did put HBS Battletech in there, something wrong, um, but uh, hopefully you stick around. It's kind of fun, fun game if you haven't already seen it. 
Alien Wolf is perfect as soon as you accept that. The books are easier. Yes, once we all accept that Alaric is the Alpha and Omega, he is Space Jesus, we will... Then, then it all makes more, much more sense. I should have waited on that one. No damage detected. Order should fire to the large laser last. Because it's early game battle tech. You can't hit with anything. He says as he shoots the urban mech in the leg. So I appreciate the tank crew and Anastasia Cake. Understand the trudge. It's an important one. Yeah. I know I, know I have to get through it. Let's get there. We'll get there. Yeah, I made a comment in the one of the the video that went up today about um, Clan Wolf. The video that went up today was the uh, review of Rending of Falcons, and uh, made a comment. If there's a word to describe Clan Wolf and their whole kind of saga in the old clan, is contrived. I think that's the word I'm going with. Just you can tell they're working very very hard to get to the point that or the place they wanted to be and it shows Ready for order. like we gotta be here at this time in this place and everything we do is gonna have to make that happen and we're gonna have to work really hard to make it happen how's it going steven sticking around good 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 Not really a stream unless Wyvern's here. We'll absolutely shoot the urban mech in the back. We are not we are not opposed to un dishonorable things like shooting mechs in the back. There we go. We don't want any of that AC-10 business going on. Do not. CGL wants some video clan. Hopefully it's working. Yeah, we'll see what they do with it. I'm cautiously optimistic. I don't know. Caut I'm, I'm just cautious, I guess, would be the word. We'll see. Die, little urban mech. Take a seat. Rest, relax, enjoy the ground. I'm doing really well, Steven. We are... Batteries are recharged. Been super productive the last few days. I got two videos out and when I normally would get one out. So, it's uh, going pretty well. Got to go on our little trip. That was a blast. Still have to go through all the photos though and organize everything. But that's later. My former former coworkers need pictures for their for their Rome unit. So that's a thing. A job to be done later. How's it going, Nemo? Mining mech. We need a gif of a downed Herbie taking, making a snow angel. Uh, I'll be happy with just a picture of a downed Herbie just kind of laying there. Maybe smoking. Flaming wreckage. It's all good. <laughs> Oh, this is why I don't like escort missions. When they're when you're not in combat, all the vehicles should move at the same time. I understand there's a limitation in the game, but letting more than one thing move at the time. But the mechs can move at the same time. 
Why not have the vehicles move at the same time? Ah, yes. Yeah, I should have my box here soon, the next day or two. But for some reason, things are really slow. But yes, we will, we will be doing a Highlander Lance uh, video soon once it, once it arrives. Finally be happy to paint a, an urban mech. Sadly, Eldonius Rex isn't taking commissions right now. Well, that's a shame. Order acknowledged. Wonder where the bad guys will come from. It's a mystery. Wrapped in an enigma. Grizzled of questions. Marinating in conundrums. about the sniffing why I'm getting stuffed up my frog heads missing Let's see if I can fix that there's my frog head okay there you are there you are that's much better that's why we can't have nice things. Alright, uh, that back. Game, open the game back up. There we go. Wish I could alt tab better in Battle Tech, but it doesn't like it. If I do windowed mode, it has a thing on the top and I can't see the bottom of the screen. That's no fun. Do all, did all I have was the Urban Mac? That was crazy. That was a super easy mission. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, there they go. There we go. Now we're cooking with kerosene. It'll never happen, but a mod where you can have a word of like celestials with reality. <laughs> yes. Elemental post humanism at its best. Yes. They say the future is crab, but the past was amphibian. And it's time to go back. Just saying there were a lot fewer problems in the world when the planet was dominated by amphibians. It's not a coincidence. Um, locust power. This lance is powered by locusts. Frog is Vasil's persona. <laughs> oh, Vasil. I am already working on the outline for part 12, and uh, yeah, that's. Hopefully going to be a less, a little less tragic than part 11 was. Or new Explorer Core series. Try not to lose any more uh, crewmen. How dare you. Good job. How dare you. Well now, what shall we do, friends? We'll crush you. I'm assuming you're a sprint. Confirmed. Yeah, I don't want to spoil anything, but it should be It'd be interesting here is uh, people have big feelings. Why didn't I shoot with that? Yeah. 
cheated out of a turn there. Why am I not? I'm not sprinting. What's going on? Okay, I guess I just don't get to shoot. I don't know what's going on there. I feel like Explorer Core is going to have a very rogue one ending. <laughs> um, no comment. That's the answer to that question. Or a comment. In response to that comment. Oh, stomping on vehicles. It's the small things in life. You have to cherish the little things. Hotspur, get in there. Gonna have to deal with their issues, that's for sure. Let's see what the we'll see what's going on with them. Gonna have to deal with the fact that uh, Kip is operating on pure anger and spite at this point. It does not make for very good decision making. So somebody, somebody in the one of the comments for one of the for that video was saying that uh, he didn't like he didn't like this episode because the the characters were acting childish and and it wasn't very realistic for the setting. And so, uh, what I have to say to that is, even a thousand years from now, people are still going to be petty, and none of that none of that is going to change in humanity in the next thousand years. People operate on emotion now. People have operated on emotion for 150,000 years, and they'll operate on emotion for the next 150,000 years. But it's okay. I don't have to like everything. Two AC fives, machine gun, small laser. I'd like to swap out those flamers for small lasers on my fire starter. So let's do that. And we got them all anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Pick and choose and you get it all anyway. That was really fun going through that 3060, 3067 uh, yesterday. Some very interesting designs in that one. Maybe some of them will get revisited down, down the road. So like the builds themselves are okay, but some of the design tank designs and even some of the mech designs are pretty weird. Things kind of went off the off the deep end for a while. Oops. All right, that'll do for now. Five days, it's ridiculous. A Montefiol and Ajax were all right. They are, and part of the reason why I picked them is because they kind of look, looks are part of it. The Montefiol is just a really good tank. The Ajax is probably not as high on, on my rankings of things you could definitely want to take. But the Montevals, you could put that next to a, a a Manticore, and they would help each other out pretty pretty effectively. So. Uh, 
kind of need my fire starter for the next thing, so we're going to wait. Actually, let's start the upgrade process, because we all know that's so much fun. Jake the Great. It's not going to have an assassin in it, or a... a oh, God. Assassin. It's always with the assassin. I'll leave five X is not bad though. I, assassins are basically worthless here. Not much I could sell it for. Three hundred thousand. All right. We may end up taking it just to. so bad. It needs to be refit. I'm going to dump even more money into it. Ugh. Groan. Audible groan. Alright. Let's do noisy neighbors. We can do this one. Fight some pirates. Uh, we need the salvage. Alright, instead of the stinger, we'll go with the assassin. Assassin, you can argue the assassin's kind of cray mech, but it it will function. It's at least a capable uh, as capable as a stinger, even though stingers are cooler. The Heimdall is is a thing. <laughs> Having having those two LB ten X's stuck in there, pointing in the front, is just a significant limitation. I mean, I like LB ten X's, but it's, I think they did that just because it would have been just too awesome a mech <laughs> had they leave them in. So just for balance's sake, they need to they need to leave something in there so you're not dealing with. What, 50 tons? Six, no, 50, 50 something tons of space for cool weapons. How's it going, Terry? Glad to see you. Running some missions. Making the most out of a Monday here. And by most, I mean playing a video game. See how far we can get before I have to go pick up the kid from school. Twitter messages. Message redacted. I wonder what that was. Who knows? It's a mystery. Alright. Uh, let's see. Let's... Head to the right. Oh, Stinger. Wasp. That's an unlucky hit for that poor wasp. Big guns should always be on a swivel. Think the bigger tanks. Hits are in the main gosh. Get past me. Yeah, you're right. But uh, I. If I had to guess, and I have no insider knowledge, I would guess that it was a balancing balancing thing. So it gets it gets hobbled a little bit, but yeah, I would never put big heavy guns deliberately in the front of the tank when you can go in the turret. That would be silly. Gold horn, how could you? The Athena suffers a similar drawback. Yeah, there's usually something. Roger. 
I have had that conversation before with a um, one of the old school Battletech guys talking about designing certain mechs and how they had to like this one is just way too good so we have to find some way to hobble it because it's just going to blow all the others out of the water Left arm with nothing in it. I'd agree on that, though, with the Hetzer, it was done as a homage to the German Hetzer in World War II. Need to sneeze. There, hopefully, I muted in time. Yeah, sneezed. Yeah, the hats, the hats are his. The hats are a whole thing. We love the hats are, but the hats are got problems. It's just adorable. It's got that going for it. How's it going, tall, bald Ewok? Bald Ewok. That sounds horrifying. A naked mole rat, but two feet tall. This poor wasp is taking a beating, but not going down. Somehow blow off the left torso. All right, sure, that works. That's something, I suppose. I'm gonna overheat my locust in a in a snowstorm. Right, right. Oh, Twitter messages. When do you have good news for me? It's almost never good news. So the real life one, I'm not say I was very cramped at the inside so much that the gun ran the length of the whole vehicle and was physically offset to the side. This meant the whole crew were in the line. Yeah, I think I remember bits and pieces of that. But my favorite tank, my piece of tank, uh, tank history is the one of the early designs for the T-72 Russian tank had a brand new system for an autoloader and uh, unfortunately it was designed and didn't didn't have uh, good teamwork figuring out hey you can't have this thing here and this other thing in the same place uh, and one of those things just happened to be a head of one of the crewmen and so when they were testing out, they realized we can't run this auto loader or else it's going to load the crewman's head into the, into the barrel. Now it could be nonsense, but, uh, that was out from a, an old book, cold, cold war history book. Are you winning dad? I am, I am something maybe. Are you winning, son? I'm on fire. Got that going for me. Wow, destroyed your whole right side. 
Sorry, buddy. Heads will fly. Yeah. Russian Russian technology is interesting. You know how you stop worrying and worrying about the apocalypse. Yes. Oh, that thing's gonna hurt. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, you're just shooting the assassin. That's okay. You can kill that. I don't care. You can totally kill that. This is fine. This is all fine. Yeah, good job, assassin. Made yourself useful. I'm going to sell you the first chance I get, so... Enjoy it while you can. Oh, early game battle tech. Miss, 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 miss. Hit. Oh my god, it hit. Oh my god. No, Locust. Small Laser Firestarter is pretty fun. It is. In fact, I think it's one of the best early game units, if not the best early game unit. Can't see anything without all these trees in the way. These infernal trees. See, even in the 31st century, we have not yet defeated the tree menace. Cut down as many as you want. He never seemed to. Never seems to be enough. One day, maybe humanity will defeat the trees. The commander mod it works with flamers too. Yeah, I guess. And Matt keeps over here. Yes, the HBS Battletech the AI does not know what to do when it's overheated. It just loses its mind and doesn't understand. Assassin, how did you miss? How did you miss that? Come on. We're gonna have a locust fight. Oh, that's the fire starter. Yes, tell me how the locust with one leg manages a physical attack. Please, please elaborate on that for me. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There we go. We got our happy ending. Reminds me we need to make 3D forest terrain that's actually modular playing with fixed tree sucks. <laughs> yeah, that probably wouldn't be a bad idea. We uh, let's see here. Nothing got beat up too bad. The assassin got beat up, but we don't care about that. We do care about piecing together another fire starter though. So that's why we that's why you do the extra salvage right there, early game. Right there. And we got a locust and a wasp piece and we're good to go. Start the epic jump jet collection spree. Channels the spirit of the black knight. Well, I could use an early game black knight, that'd be good. Get an actual good mech out of the heavy metal box. That would be refreshing. Get a Phoenix Hawk, maybe, or 
something other than the assassin or the oh what's the other mech that always is in that box i can't remember off the top of my head uh, the one with the ac2 that's completely useless um, all right the thick stuff actually let's see do we have a small laser now nope still flamer it actually went shockingly well that early game kept searching for the missions where two enemy assaults fight each other yes those are the nice ones there was a game a while back where I got uh, where I got an archer out of one of those missions because I shot it in the head so all three pieces, it was just perfect. Like, just jump ahead from the early game so quickly. It's nice. All right, do we have any more contracts here that are decent? Yes, we do. But we need to repair first. Oh, we have, probably have some mech warrior upgrades we can do. We can actually start hitting things when we want to hit them. Wouldn't that be nice? Instead of incidentally hitting things. Uh, yep. And radar, you're... Good job holding the rear, radar. You're uh, A for the day. Alright, let's see here. Destroy the base of recovery. Let's do let's do this one since it's cold and don't have to worry about anything overheating. Yeah, I've done that once. Picked up the archer, that was fun. I think I've done one other time. Oh, what was it? I think it was like a war rain or something. So not not a heavy mech, but Heavy enough that it was like a jump start in the early game that really matters because the HVS battle tech is so slow in the early game it's painful. Yeah, it's really good in the early game just because it can tank. Comparative compare comparing to the, to the light mediums and the lights you see in early game, you can tank and you can fire those LRMs and you know four medium lasers and all that. It's good times. Good times had by all. Command interface initiated. All right. Running up the mountain. Hiding the trees. Can't be little gorillas. No, you go. No, you go. No, you go. No, you go. You come over here. No, you come over here. That's all right. I'm good. Let's send the assassin out. Let's see here. Which one do we go? Let's do this way. Wasp. Rover, Red Rover, send the wasp right over. Standing by. Confirmed. Always nice when that medium laser hits. 
not too shabby. You know, it's slightly better when they mess with their medium laser. Hermes. We like the Hermes. It's a decent mech. Better than this. I'll take it over an assassin. Let's see if we can put a bullet in this thing. No, no, we cannot. <laughs> One damage. Good job, McFrog. Good job. That's why you get paid the big bucks. Ready for orders. Locked up for physical tests. Pew 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 pew. I need the little alligator laser sounds. Wow. Okay. Numbers just dropped off the cliff. Okay. Maybe a commercial turned on and it was like, nope. We don't do commercials. <laughs> they should have little cute little laser sounds. Beep -beep 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 the pulse lasers should still go womp womp womp. womp, womp, womp. That's very important. Womp, womp, womp. Oh, that would actually be a good salvage because I'm pretty sure... Then someone put McWarrior 2 sounds in and then PGI banned it because it was better than theirs. So that's just so often the case. People are actually having fun in their game and then PGI has to, has to stop it. Remember back back in the day when you could uh, you can bowling ball people and just keep knocking them down. And a certain certain group of uh, goonish type players did it to one of the PGI guys over and over and over again, and so they decided to find a way to stop it. It's an old school NWO. Way back in the day. It's only salvage if it's from the salvage region of France. Else it's just sparkling recycling. I saw one of those for the the banking bailout thing this morning. Like it's only a bailout if it comes from the New York City region of of New York. Otherwise, it's just like a a, a regional backstop, something like that. Crazy, crazy, crazy. The video of it still, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was. That was pretty funny. I wasn't a part of it, but uh, we definitely had a laugh. Oh, come on. What a crazy day that was.
Just eject. And then... How dare you. I'm allowed to physically attack you. You're not allowed to physically attack me. That's the rule. Again, how do you how do you miss kicking a mech on the ground? Seems like a pretty captive target. Welcome, Tankersley. Just subscribed. Welcome. Ever hear of a reverse marauder setup? No. Tell me about the reverse marauder setup. I'm interested. Color color me with an interested crayon. A reverse Marauder. That would be like oh, two large lasers in the arm, one PPC on top. Hmm. Think about that. In a game like Mech Warrior 5, I would probably go for something like that. Because I prefer lasers rather than the delay that the PPCs have. And the kind of the uh, bullet time for uh, PPC shots. I'm not sure if I would go for it in tabletop though. Be something to ponder. I'd have to look you'd have to look at kind of the heat. How many heat sinks you've got in it and um, what what kind of DPS you're able to put out. Yeah, idea is to reduce the minimum range. That's a good point, though. In most most tabletop games, it's not too much of an issue. Though I am fine with re removing the auto cannon. Is kind of it would be something I would ex I would expect if you have the option to remove it. Just because it runs so warm anyway, that, that auto auto cannon, that space is better used as uh, for additional heat sinks. The YAML yeah, mod has targeting computer stuff, giving you a hold point for your PPCs and PPC pies. Huh. Well, that's nice. That's nice to have. Like the MAD 3D with one large laser because in close combat you can use the medium lasers and the single large lasers. Yeah, I can see that. Got two Hermes pieces. That's good. Let's do that. Hermes is a good light mech. It's entirely reasonable. I love YouTube. The YouTube studio is so fun. So you can get this little interactive uh, little graph showing you how many people are on and chat rate and all that stuff. And it just like, it has no idea what's going on. It goes from, 23 concurrent viewers down to zero, down to 10. Like it has, as a metric, it's just entirely meaningless. Like, ooh, look at the line go up and down. I don't think 10 people are leaving and coming back at random intervals, but all right. You say so. Oh, YouTube, never change. But definitely send me an email one of these days for getting memberships, channel memberships set up. That would be nice. I've been arguing with them back and forth for a month now, trying to get those set up. They're like, you should have it in your options. I'm like, well, I don't. I'm like, oh, we'll look into it. All right. I'll hear back from you in two weeks. Maybe. 
Yay, new jump drives. We like jump drives. Get uh, more gunnery. We like gunnery. Four at least. Even though we will go elsewhere. Seems to be steady. Yeah, I, it, it seems to be a 20 or something. That's, that's okay. I'm not too concerned with it. It doesn't really matter. Alright, who's this against? Oh, I don't want to fight the magistracy. All right, we'll do this. Go up to two out of eight. Two's a good place to be. I don't know if you're a HBS Battletech player, but two's a good place because you're because you very often get two pieces of a mech that when you destroy it, if you're if you're a pretty good, pretty lucky shot, and so it's very unlikely that you ever get three unless you headshot something. But uh, two's a good sweet spot to be early game because you're picking up those two pieces of whatever. At the same time, idea was basically a way of in-universe mod for M3 and Mad <laughs> uh, 3M with a PPC replacing EC5, basically reverse mod. Huh. Interesting. Muy interesante. Two o'clock. We got time. We get two more missions in if I'm quick. Hopefully this one doesn't drag out. Hard, hard, hard exit time. I gotta go pick up the kid from school. Though at least the snow is finally melting, which is nice. I was joking about it the other day. I mean, being able to see your grass for the first time in three months. It's kind of nice. It's all brown and sad looking, but at least it's grass. Got a little bit of snow forever. In universe, higher mounted PPC might be useful for in cover shots. Sure, absolutely. Well, even to that, a even just. Leaving the AC5, that's nice to have it up top. Destroy enemy units. Snowed all day here. <laughs> I'm really hoping this was the last of the snow. I'm, I'm pretty done with it. Even my, even my kids are like, we're sick of this. <laughs> no, you'd think, no, little kids... Little kid really into snow. After three months, he's like, I'm, I'm so bored of this, Dad. I want to go outside and play in the grass. I want to have to bundle up. And then the older child who absolutely refuses to wear long pants, when, even when it's like 18 degrees outside. Good times. No, you go. No, you go. No, seriously, you go. I know you want me to run out into the middle and die, but I don't want to. I don't want to. E. So rude. Run out here and die like proper mech warriors. Oh, we didn't get that lucky medium laser hit. Speaking of snow, hopefully none of you are in SoCal. I'm not in snow SoCal, that's for sure. We are way up north on that. 
evening, gentlemen. Is this mod? This is modded. It has the extended mod on it, which I personally think is a good kind of sweet spot between vanilla and crazy mod with a million changes to it. Where at the point where you are uh, forced to deal with actuators and crazy, uh, crazy amount of detail, which feels like a job. So I like I like a nice sweet spot in the middle where it's still very game like, not a pure simulation. Kind of hoping for an early kill there, but that's okay. ECM. I got a Raven running. I could use a Raven. I would, I would complain about a Raven. Rogue Tech made my last two. It, yeah. I if if I'm not bashing it. If people like it, they like it. It's just not for me. Oh, damn it. Oh, cool, man. Cool. All right, let's see if we can take this thing out. We cannot. It's okay. Come on, take it out. Hopefully we'll get our last, we'll get a second fire starter out of this, hopefully. They don't destroy it too badly. Hopefully save at least the, the other torso. I would agree with that. Battletech extended CE, very much a vanilla plus type mod. I haven't played it in ages though. Got this hodgepodge of smaller mods. My own self-made ones. Going to collect. Yeah, it, it, it. I I agree that CE is is kind of vanilla plus, and I'm fine. That's kind of exactly what I want. So it works. I wanted vanilla with the extra features and mechs and the time period shift, and that's what it gave. Dang it! Did not want to take off the other torso. But maybe we'll get one piece out of that. Going back to the Marauder 3D, laser on back, arms, large pulse. Medium arms are great. Double heat. Yeah. You could somehow get clan large pulse lasers on there, then then it's just an an animal. jump in there and get shot in the back. Let's do that. We'll see how that works. I'm gonna dance around this thing so we won't be taking shots from everybody at the same time, hopefully. Raven, I don't know what to say about you. Marauder 2C, 10 is the best standard. The Marauder 2C is a beast. That, there is no doubt. Could end up being a kind of a tough fight with the reinforcements already in there. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, 
Yeah, vanilla's okay, and I did play vanilla for a really long time, but it's nice to have those extra options. And the mechs, and the everything else. I'm going to try a mod. I need to mech buy up all the vanilla mechs first to get an idea for optimal builds when I hit career. Okay. Here, if we send the assassin up onto the top, maybe they'll shoot at it instead. Oh, where'd your ECM go, buddy? You panicked. The only thing that makes me good. Oh, no. Or should we just obliterate this wasp? Let's obliterate this wasp. You're supposed to die. Not... Oh, this is why I can't have nice things. Sometime soon, I'm supposed to get a bonus pay from work and finally build a PC. Nighter build, be able to play battle tech at least. That would be a good goal. We need to start putting these things down. I got my two small lasers. Gosh darn it. I need those. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can put you down. Nope. Oh, how slow. Come on. The assassin's being useful as a bullet maggot. Great, and you can go. Warning. Armor low. Yes, Commander. Copy that, Commander. Charging for an alpha strike. I read that Ravens absorbing a lot of damage. There we go. Hopefully we'll get a piece out of that too. Hmm. 
I'd rather fight the Hornets. Building good standing with pirates unlocks certain force powers. The force power of markets with good things on them. There we go. Now we're cooking with kerosene. Have you heard about the Hinton McWarrior 6 in the works? I'm sure they're working on s at least another um, another expansion. Would not be surprised. of 100 to 100 slowly proof positive the fist still remains a viable weapon absolutely and especially early game melee attacks Oof. early and often use them of course it's always nice to shoot the mech in the back too Bye bye. I don't think we're salvaging much of that. All right, Spider. Last one. Just die. There you go. The fist is mightier than the sword. Yeah, going pirate heavy in the game can be quite fun. You do have the best stuff on there. Okay, we'll finish our fire starter. And we'll start a raven. We'll probably get a bunch of other stuff anyway. Yep. Finish up a wasp as well. I think we'll we'll keep it for now. Couldn't hurt to keep it for now. Change the LRM and SRM too. I don't want to. I don't want to dump any money into it, Spartner. That's the problem. I want to get rid of it as quickly as I can. <laughs> now we have a second fire starter. That's going to be easier to do. If I have a life goal in, in HBS Battletech is to never put a dime into the assassin that I always get out of the heavy metal box. The storage, I want to sell it. All right, let's do... Uh, I really don't care about the mongoose. So Falcon's kind of crappy too. Let's sell this since it's all messed up. Anyway, we'll pull the fire starter out of storage. Got it. Gonna be long. We'll refit this. Hopefully, we got a small laser out of it. going on with that oh, we'll just put an MG in there for now I'll let you know when that's done. <sighs> I don't want to do anything to this so you we didn't even check the store here yet might be something cool here who knows uh, Phoenix Hawk part would be good 
<laughs> Start collecting stalker parts. Let's go. Jump right to the end game. Uh, Phoenix Hawk would not be bad, actually. Vulcan is the one I was thinking of. The other... Those are the only two I ever get out of the heavy metal box. Either a Vulcan or an Assassin. And they're both equally frustrating. Alright, let's see here. We have to do... Merchant up that. You are going to be Goldhorn. You are, well, let's hold off on making that decision yet. I'll delay it as much as possible anyway. Alright, we got stuff fixed. Do we have, I don't know if we have any other missions here. We have enough time for one more if I hurry. Nope. Go quick. We'll go quick. Yeah, I guess Falcon does have that going for it. You can say so if you want, I suppose. Well, that's good. Okay, so video later this week, most likely more vehicles of some sort, since we're kind of ramping up for the Kickstarter stuff. Dig through another technical readout and see if we can find some more tanks to highlight. That's just fun to do. Who doesn't like digging through technical readouts? Been a long time since I've read some of this stuff. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm starting, I don't, I may not have enough time for this. I have 20 minutes. I don't think that's going to be enough time. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have enough time for this mission, so we're going to have to wrap it up a little early. We'll see what's here at the store first. An archer to our... Not, not the best. Awesome fire star, another fire star piece. Phoenix Hawk. Well, two Phoenix Hawk pieces, so yes, I, I should have bought that Phoenix Hawk. Though we would have been left with a hundred thousand dollars worth of money, so Wolverine parts not bad. AC twenty plus with two accuracy, that's not too bad. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time for mission, but uh, we will have to put a pin in it. So I will have to go a little early. At least in Battletech, you can loot your way up. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Hunter tank is cool. It's LRM-20 and flame of heat. The early game in Mech Warrior 5 is almost as frustrating. It feels like you're always just barely getting by. 
which I guess is the point. But all right, I'm gonna have to go. Uh, gonna have to go do the parent thing and pick up the kid from school. So I appreciate everybody who came by. Nice, fun, chatty stream as always. Enjoy your rest of your Monday. Good to see you, Tiger. Get more vehicles, more vehicle videos. Absolutely. Yep. So probably not a view, not a video tomorrow, but the day after, because it takes me about a day and a half to compile everything. So we'll uh, I'll see you then. Take care. Have an awesome day, and go out and make the world a slightly better place today and tomorrow. So make a plan.